Hello, my name is Philip Bramwell. I'm age 26 and I was born with spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. So that means I was born premature and they caused a brain injury and I'm affected in four limbs, uh, both arms and both legs. So that's where the term quadriplegia comes from. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about fall recovery uh, when you're severely disabled and how it's still possible to live alone in this type of scenario. Um, so first, when I fall on the floor, I always make sure to control the speed and the direction in which I fall. Um, and the way that I do that is, well, first of all, I've been disabled all my life. So when I'm young, a, a big part of my uh, therapies and treatments was uh, controlling the, the direction of the fall and the speed. Um, so a lot of mental work and discussing how to do that beforehand. The thing is when somebody falls, you, you don't just decide the first time you fall what you need to do. You need to know what to do before you actually fall so that your mind and your body are trained uh, to give the right reaction. So when I fall, Usually I put my hands on the floor so that I hit the floor before the floor hits me. If you absorb the contact, uh, first of all, it hurts less and it's also safer in terms of uh, not breaking your bones um, and not causing permanent injury. Uh, when you fall, it's normal for it to sting, you know, it stings even for non-disabled people. Um, but we want to make sure that we're not permanently injured from the fall. Um, just a, a little sting is what we need, what we need to have. Um, when you're disabled, spe specifically with a disability that affects balance, um, you're going to be falling because no balance means you can't make any mistakes uh, when it comes to falling. A final element I want to talk about is how do you get up off the floor when you're severely disabled? Well, in my case, I'm not able to do that. Um, I need full assistance of a person. So that can be someone I know or somebody I don't know. Of course, it's easier with someone you know. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you fall in public, you don't have that option. Um, so I'm always very clear on how to explain how to get me up off the floor. And uh, finally, I'm gonna explain how I get off the floor. And that is, I roll to my, to my hands and knees, and then the person helping me comes from behind, and they grab my upper body, and they do a full lift. Um, a key to discuss in this element is that my weight is dead weight until I get on my feet. Uh, once I'm on my feet, the person still has to remain under my arms, uh, but I am able to take a few steps uh, to get to the bed or the couch or wherever I'm at. And I use Hey Siri on my iPhone uh, to call for help because usually when I fall, you know, my phone is not directly nearby, but um, that technology is a huge blessing in terms of how to call for help. So in summary, falling is about preparation, physical preparation and mental preparation. And also when you want to get up, you need to explain to the person helping you how to do it. But it is possible for people with severe disabilities to live alone, but we need to take the proper precautions. Uh, thank you so much and have a great day.